today for our math strategies video, we're going to be exploring tens and ones. Okay, so we're going to be breaking apart or decomposing numbers into tens and ones in different ways using place value blocks. So before we get started, let's review our place value blocks so we understand what they're worth or their value. Okay, so this one is worth one. Okay. And this one is actually worth 10, okay? We know that because there are 10 of these in here, okay? So you can think about this 10 blocks as a full 10 frame, okay? All right, so our first number that we're going to be taking a close look at is the number 12, okay? So one way to create the number 12 using our place value blocks, using 10s and 1s, is using a 10 and then two ones because I know that this is worth 10. Think about it as a full 10 frame. So 10, 11, 12. So we can create the number 12 by using one 10 and two ones. Okay. Let's think about another way that we can um, think about the number 12. Okay. Instead of using one of these tens, we could use 10 ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then of course our two ones. So we can actually just use 12 ones, okay, to create that number, okay? And if you'll notice that this right here is very similar to a 10 frame because I have 5 and 5. So that's just another way to think about it. So we can break apart 12 into 1, 10, and 2, 1s, or we can break apart 12 into 12, 1s, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at another number. So this time we're going to be working with a number 35, okay? So of course one way I can do it is I can find three 10s, 10, 20, 30, and 5, 1s. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one way I can break apart the number 35 is I can break it down into three tens and five ones. Okay, another way I can do it is I can take this 10 right here and I can break it apart into ones. Okay, so I can have my two tens. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then of course I have my five ones here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so keep in mind that these blocks right here represent a ten, but I'm showing them as ones. Okay, so I have two tens and 15 ones because I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 ones. So these are two ways that you can break apart um, 35 into tens and ones, okay? All right, so this time we're gonna be using an even bigger number, okay? And I'm gonna be drawing out these place value blocks to help us. So this time our number is 83. So of course one way that we could do it is we could have our eight tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could do eight tens and then three ones. One, two, three, which would give us 83. Okay, because I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83. Okay. I could also think about taking this 10 and breaking it apart into ones, okay? Leaving us with seven tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, okay? So keep in mind that this group right here is worth 10. So as we count it up, we'll make sure that we have it. So we know we have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or 70. We have seven tens or 70. And then we have another 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 ones. So two ways that you could break apart 83 is, to, is eight tens and three ones, or you could take seven tens and 13 ones. Okay, so as we begin to build or break apart numbers in different ways, we become more flexible with how we can use them.